Hey, what's going on guys? It's L7Donut here, and I haven't uploaded for a while, and I really apologize for that. It's just after I finish my Dare RC, I really haven't had that much time to be uh, editing or making commentaries. I've been pretty busy doing some other stuff and also enjoying some other stuff, but I'm probably going to start uploading every few days now, get back into it, because uh, my second semester in school is not, not as hard as my first. So, yeah. Alright, so guys, today I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys about maybe my clan history. I was I was thinking about doing a commentary about this for a while now. And, I mean, I really think that I haven't really had, where a lot of people that know me now probably don't really know what teams I was in because I'm, I've moved channels and edits have been lost here and there and stuff. So I figured I would just maybe sum up everything in a quick little commentary for you guys so maybe you guys can see what teams I was in before, uh, where I got to where I am now. And, yeah, let's just get right into it. So the first team that I ever joined in this whole, like, I'm going to start, like, right from the beginning, was a team that I had with my two IRL friends, it was called THG. And there was THG, and there was a team called Flash, and the only reason why I became an editor was because, well, me and my other good friend Strand became editors, was because we had players, we had clips, but no one would edit for us because we had, like, 50 subs. So we decided we were going to edit, or learn how to edit, so we could do it ourselves, so we could put out team dodges and stuff. And that didn't go really good. That this was like three years ago. This was right when I first started doing this stuff. I was still a trick shotter back then, just doing editing on the side. It wasn't until later that I took editing more seriously. So then after that, uh, I joined a team called OB, and it was the Over Brotherhood, and it was with a bunch of people. I don't know. Maybe you might know him. Uh, Beezer was in. Uh, it was led by a guy who's had like millions of IDs, and I'm pretty sure he's a hacker now. So. That was that, and I was in that for about three months, and I was a player for that. And then after OB, I joined a team called Hex, and then after Hex, I, th I was free agent. And I really didn't know what to do at that point. Uh, this was about two years ago that I'm talking about from right now. So, I mean, I have been editing for a while, but there have been periods of time where I haven't edited for six months in those two years. Or not six months, like, just there's been periods of time when I haven't edited so I'd like to say I'm editing for two years, but at the same time, I kind of haven't been. So after I was free agent for a while, uh, I, would, I joined Acid, Acid Lodge, and I actually edited Are You Acidic? If I can find it, I'll put it on the screen right now. Uh, I don't think it's still up on the channel, and it's not up on any of my channels. But yeah, it, the very first one I edited was Are You Acidic 12, I believe, it was 12 or 14. Actually, I think I did both of them. Or maybe I did 12 and 13. I'm not entirely sure. I'll put it on screen. You'll probably be seeing it right now if I did. But that was the first, like, really, like, team that I ever was serious about editing for. And at that time, I was only in for maybe two weeks, and then I was lead editor of Acid. I mean, everyone, Acid is a pretty bad rep. But, I mean, hey, this was, this was like, two years ago. And, I mean, they still weren't really that good back then, but it, it was enough. Because I learned a lot from Acid, and Swervy, uh, he still leads teams now. I don't know, if you're maybe watching this, you're the first leader to ever give me a chance at anything. I remember just messaging him over and over and over and over again on his personal channel. He finally said, you know what, I actually watched your edits now and you're actually pretty good, so you can join. So after Acid, hmm, uh, I left Acid, I did, well, I left Acid to join uh, Arrow, but the funny thing about Arrow was, is I didn't actually like formally join Sparks, I just, I had him on Skype from, uh, I don't even know how I had him on Skype. And I saw in his Skype mood, he said, need an editor for Aerodynamics 14 or 13. I can't remember. I'll put it on screen right now because I still have the file. And this was the edit that I really, like, Sparks gave me a chance. And this was nothing, I wouldn't have been able to do that without my friend Java. He kind of convinced Sparks into letting me do it. And what you're seeing right now is actually a version that didn't go up. So I did one version to it with, to some rap song. I don't even know what song it was. You're not going to be seeing audio either. But I did this edit, and Sparks hated it, man. He hated it. It was brutal. And, I mean, it really was a really bad edit. So I said to him, I said, can I have one more chance? And, I mean, he's gambling at this point, right? Like, if, if I do another shit edit, then he can't upload uh, Aerodynamics that week. And he was like, you know what? I, I believe you. You can do better. Go for it. So I re-edited it, and this was, at the time, my best edit ever. I can't believe how nicely this turned out. You're going to see it on screen right now. And this was the edit that got me an arrow. And when I was in arrow, it was in the summertime. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was in the summer, and I wasn't editing that much. I would come on Skype every week or week or... Well, I mean, I'd be on Skype, but I wouldn't be talking in the chat. I'd just be, like, playing Xbox with some friends. And I would say, do I need to edit anything? I was talking to Dundro, actually. Dundro was the editor at that time. 
And I did two other player ups. One got scrapped, one got uploaded. Uh, you'll probably see the one I did up on screen right now. And that was that for Arrow. And then eventually Arrow ended right when Ghost came out, I can remember. And then actually Anxie, who was a leader of Arrow, was bringing back a team called Rush. And this was with Element and him and Blasted. And he said to me, he just like said, do you want to join uh, uh, Rush as an editor? And I was actually going to join Otto at this point, but when I looked at Rush, even though they were smaller and Otto was bigger, I didn't like some of the editors in Otto. Like we've, I didn't really have beef with them, it's just I didn't like how they were on Twitter and stuff. So I was like, yeah, sure, totally, let's join Rush. And on the day that I joined, I put out a mini, and this was to an Eminem song. I can't remember the exact name, I'll put it on screen right now. Maybe you'll remember this if you've been following me for a while. But Anxie freaking loved this edit, man. Like, I don't know why. He just said he liked it a lot. Uh, I didn't really think it was that good of an edit. And he wanted me to edit a cams, an MW2 cams. And, oh, this is going to be a long commentary. So, uh, before I did that cams, I did Seeker's episode. What's a Seeker? Six. I'll put that on screen probably. This is, you're going to see a lot of ads now. And I did this, and I did that in one night. I did that in like six freaking hours. And Anxie just thought it was so cool how I could do standard edits or good edits so quickly. So he gave me the clips for Rush Hour 2, or no, Rush Hour 3. And I did Rush Hour 3. It got scrapped because a couple of the clips in it were bad, but he said, holy crap, do you edit that in a day? Then people were bailing on Rush Hour 1. That needed to go up. So I did a quick edit on that, and it got uploaded. And then when someone bailed on Rush Hour 2, Element said to me, he said, if you do this, you'll be rewarded with, uh, you'll be rewarded editing-wise. And I didn't really know what the hell that meant. I was like, editing-wise, you're going to give me presets or something? But then the next day after I finished Rush Hour 2, uh, he made me lead editor. And this was around New Year's, so about, uh, e about a year ago from today. Or wait, maybe, oh god, whatever. So I did that, and then that was the way it was for about a year, actually, uh, all the way until the end of the summer. I met a lot of good friends in Rush. Rush was by far my most like favorite team. I met XZ, Dundro, Spider, Jared, to name a few. There's tons of cool guys in Rush. And I really stayed in Rush, and I was in from Rush Hour 1 to Rush Hour 28, I think. And we got, I got a lot of cool opportunities to edit big uh, things for Rush, and I can't thank Element or Anxie enough. Like, without them, I don't even know what I would be doing. If I wouldn't have chosen Rush and joined Auto or something, I probably wouldn't even be editing right now, because Rush was just that team that just got me so into this and everything. So, at the end of the summer, this was in July, I want to say, or maybe August, I started my own team with my friend XZ, uh called Big. And Vig was around for three months, and I was full-time Vig at this point. I left Rush because Element and Anxie didn't really care, Blasted didn't really care, and Rush turned into garbage. So we led Vig for about three months, and it, everything went pretty good until we had some leader problems or whatever, or whatnot. And then I've ended Vig, and then after about a week and a half of that, I really didn't know what the hell I was going to do. Um, I joined Silver, and this is Silver was led by uh, L7, Piv, and Sparks. And... Knowing Sparks from Arrow, I was like, holy crap, I gotta join this team. And then the funny thing is, I didn't even know Pib was in L7 until two nights after I started talking to him, I think. Because I had, like, the new Skype, I couldn't even see his logo or anything. So I was talking to them for, like, two days. And then they wanted me to edit SL2. And I joined as co-leader, actually. And that was weird because I wasn't really into leading, but I liked how I could be a co-leader and not be the main person, you know, like I wasn't big. And I edited SL2, and then after that, the biggest thing ever in my entire editing time, Limits added me on Skype and linked me a tweet of him saying, yo, you're in L7 or whatever. <laughs> so that is my clan history, and that's how I got from where I was to where I am today. And I just, I'm, I'm so thankful for everything that people have done for me. I wouldn't be anywhere without the people I mentioned, like for starters, Swervy, Sparks, Blasted, Anxie, Element, all those guys. Uh, thank you very much, and I mean, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you, so you're the real MVP. <laughs> Thanks for listening, guys. Signing out. Peace.